Good morning everybody. Welcome to more fun in Florida. And we're on our way back. I know I've been there before, I was only there last year. We're going back to St. Augustine and hope to show you some new places I haven't been to before. We just stopped up to uh, Buckbees just outside Daytona Beach. A 20 minute break. I booked the uh, trip through Grey Line again. They were fantastic. And uh, yeah, St. Augustine, America's oldest permanent city. Once occupied and founded by the Spanish and the British. That's going to be great. So yeah, this to off here and uh, get a coffee. How does this all work then? Um, so Buckbees is like a fuel stop, gas stop, and a huge uh, uh, supermarket. It's pretty cool. Nice black coffee. Got to be a black coffee. First thing in the morning, it's only like half eight. A couple of early starts I've had lately, so I'm a bit there. Um, yeah, not far from, say, from Daytona Beach. I'm just heading up to St. Augustine. I do apologize, I know I've been there before. This will be my fifth time there. I just absolutely love it. And if you like history, you're really gonna love it. So yeah, it's gonna be good. I'm all work for buck beans. It was very murky this morning driving in. A lot of low-lying cloud. Um, but it's fine now. Right, let's go. By the way, it's Bucky's. Bucky's, not Buckney's, whatever I called it. Bucky's. Augustine and I am doing the trolley ride again which I've done before I know but it's really interesting so I hope I can take you to a few places we haven't been to before so I'm looking forward to it it's gonna be a quick whiz and uh, yeah let me go again sorry if I'm repeating myself but I do like St Augustine it looks like it might rain later it's not very bright and bizarrely, luckily I'm not superstitious. I flew out on September the 11th, and today is Friday the 13th. He says, right by the Augustine Gel Gallows. I think two criminals lost their lives here in the early 20th century. Shortly, it means we're going to be moving. Please keep your hands and feet inside the vehicle at all times. All aboard. Now, they tell me around here that history is actually a story. So let us begin properly. The three quarters of a mile. It was Sir Francis Drake who went for a pirate. Sailing under the cover of the British flag. We're under attack. He burned our city to the ground and chased us off into the swamps. We survived. We came back. We rebuilt our town and some walls to protect us. Kind of like the Death Star in the Star Wars movies. Welcome aboard everyone, my name is Davy Jones, on the back side of it. If you tried to get in or out of our city, you had to come to the city gates here on the left. They would close the city gates and you'd have to sleep out there in the swampy areas if you didn't get back before dusk. 
There were snakes and alligators on the other side of the route. And it was considered an eyesore. But through the power of their tea party, they saved our gates. Now, the gates lead to St. George Street, our pedestrian mall. Yeah. And here on this end of St. George Street, you'll find the old wooden schoolhouse. Got a big old crusty anchor chained around it. Pirate treasure chest now on one of three Jolly Roger flags. They have a sound experience designed by Disney Studios. It's called Blackbeard's Demise. He breathes down. Doesn't that feel good? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so the roads run in east to west like this one that curves them. We would station our troops on the other side of the curves and we'd pick off any invaders in ambush once they rounded the corners. Curves would also make depth perception difficult to be. You're trying to hit us with cannon fire. You could hit the buildings in the front row here. You could aim at these. The ones bombed off just surface. He was basically going to enslave them. So they sent their Catholic priest, Father Peter. Being married to a Menorcan. And now I have a whole household full of these little Menorcan people. It got dull real quick, or even shattered. I have poured $86,000 into the church and the pastor's home behind. And in return, he received their property, which had a value of about $4,000. Marjorie. Marjorie only lived about two hours. Jenny Louise was encouraged to come down to St. Augustine to recuperate and to mourn the loss of the baby. Illuminate the lights. Wagner had the largest collection of light bulbs in the world at the time, 4,000. These 4,000 lights would burn out every three days. That's a lot of lights to replace. So we had a staff dedicated to replacing a light bulb. The staff would also stand near the light switches, turning lights on and off for his guests. They were afraid of electricity. Oh my, I feel, I feel, I feel cheated. I'll have to stop there so you can give me a beautiful tour of that thing. Hmm? I better go. With what we call the poured concrete. His mix of concrete didn't have gravel and it had ground up seashells instead. If you get close to the Flagler College, you'll find there are shells embedded in it all over the place. And for that reason, I like to call it the largest sea. Some of the very outstanding leaders and people of our nation. I believe that I was when I said to them, drafts. Our next stop is the Cathedral Basilica. They have records that date back to the arrival of Pedro Menendez in 1565. Makes it the oldest parish. In 1702, we were attacked by Governor Moore. He was the governor of the British colony of South Carolina. This house, which is here to the right, is owned, the oldest house is owned by the Historical Society today. And they offer guided tour every half hour, last two other days at 4.30. This is stop number 15. Okay. I stopped the trolley tour a little bit earlier so I can go and look at the oldest house museum, um, which looks really interesting. Uh, and we just buy the Bridge of Lions and then I'll take you down St. George's Street. I'm going to go to a few other places we haven't actually done before. But I'm going to take you for a nice stroll down St. George's Street, which is the ancient colonial thoroughfare. Um, I think from the British rule. There's lots of obviously Spanish influence, a bit of British influence. Um, so yeah, let's go and see if it's open. Thank you, Davy Jones, the tour guide. He was very enthusiastic. This is Bridge Street, which I think takes you up to the old house. I just remember, I've only just literally come back round here a couple of minutes ago, so we'll, we'll, we'll have a look. It's a little bit cooler today, which is lovely. Really nice little breeze coming in, so we're not getting too sweaty. It's still humid, but not like it normally is in that there Florida. There's been lots of thunderstorms uh, over the last couple of days and rain, so it's probably cooled everything down a little bit. Yeah. 
It's got a big parking lot for the oldest house. Pretty cool. Yeah, it's just, just there. We're gonna go in in a minute. I might be the only visitor at this time of the morning. Well, it's about half 10, 11 o'clock, I think. Um, but yeah, we've got this house here. Okay, another old house. This house was already extant in 1763 when Spain ceded Florida of Great Britain. It was then a one-story, two-room, single-roofed uh, Coquina stone structure. So nice. I, this is America. I've said this in every video when I come to um, St. Augustine. I said, this is America hasn't got history. Of course it has. And I will try and not embarrass myself by mispronunciation Spanish titles because I know how people like to do that in England when I pronounce a village wrong <laughs> you got to spell like that, it's pronounced like that um, so France is in AD 1791 although we will do the main thoroughfare of course St George's Street again it's just nice coming around the back streets of um, the city really cool some of the houses here. Look at that, lovely. St. Francis Park, or St. Augustine, 1976, Bicentennial Project. St. Francis Barracks. Yeah, the oldest house. Do you have a look inside? It's probably going to have to be um, St. Augustine's oldest house. Um, so we'll get a plaque here. Should we have a look inside? We'll have to pay, but don't mind. Let's go. There you go. For more than three centuries, this site has been occupied by St. Augustine's beginning about 1650 and a succession of thatched wooden structures were their homes and was burnt down by the English in 1702 originally a one-story rectangle with two rooms down as British so here we are in the oldest house in St Augustine probably one of the oldest in North America I would think that's cool. They did ask whether I want to go on the guided tour or just walk around. I'm I'm not big for guided tours. I like to walk around on my own with notes and just take in the vibe. Do you know what I mean? Um, my, my debit card was declined twice. That's a bit worrying. I know it does that occasionally. So I hope it's going to be okay. It's going to be a bit screwed otherwise. I only have one card. Nice little outhouse. Cool. 
um, sometimes feel quite strange coming into a place like this. And it's so historic. You know. Florida became a territory of the United States in 1821 and St. Augustine was an established tourist destination by the 1840s. The walk around the gardens. get some lunch in a minute. I might go back to where I was last year along St George's Street which would be nice. See how it goes. It's not what you find, it's what you learn. Very true. That was a nice walk around the oldest house in St. Augustine. Right, let's head back down towards the Bridge of Lions and St. George's Street. Yeah, the Bridge of Lions over there, which you can walk over to go to the lighthouse, which I'm not doing. And you out to the main market square. Florida, the Sunshine State, colonized by Spaniards 1559. Site of first permanent settlement in the US, 1565. Aviles Street, here it is. I think it's pronounced Aviles, according to the tour guide. And this is the street of the Royal Hospital. It was renamed in 1923 in honor of the birthplace of uh, the founder of St. Augustine. So this is the oldest street in St. Augustine, which we have been to before. We're not going to go down a Vowell Street now, I did it in the last video. Um, I might go back into the church though, that was really cool. Oh, the Church of England was established in Florida during the British occupation 1763 to 1783. Right, I think I'm going to get something to eat. Just want to check my card is working because I'm a bit screwed if not. And I'm being served by the same lady who served me last year. How fabulous she recognised me I'm a year later, isn't that great? I've got to speak quickly because there's Rolling Stones playing on the jukebox, so I don't want to get copyrighted and striked. So yeah, let's enjoy our meal. That was a lovely meal in the Bull and Crown. Really nice burger that was. And lovely seeing Shanti again. What are the chances she was on and served me again and we caught up on what we were talking about last year, about taking her, her husband to uh, England to see Manchester United play. Um, that was great, thank you Shanti. Um, so yeah, what we're gonna do now, we're at the uh, Market Square uh, in St. Augustine and we're gonna walk back down St. George's 
street and so I'll walk over to Flagler College and look at some of the uh, statues there and um, it all sounds like fun. It's so nice, it's really cool today. I mean, it's, it's still hot, of course, but it's, it's cooler than normal. I think we're in for a thunderstorm later on, so I'll have to take shelter. But um, yeah, let's go. So on the trolley ride, we uh, passed this, so I thought I'd have a quick look at the statue. This is the Alcazar Hotel, which is the second hotel built for Henry Flagler, who brought the railroad and pretty much tourism in a way to uh, Florida. A lovely statue here. Oh. I'm tripping up, Tom, uh, Don Pedro Maneres de Vales. Probably pronounced that completely wrong. The founder of Florida. Just seeing the trolley light in the trolley ride uh, pull up the old town trolley uh, one thing we won't be doing this year is going to the fort I've done that so many times before I did a good video from it last year all these will be linked below in the description box and the whole Florida trip so no we're not going there uh, although it's amazing it really is amazing so what we can do now head down St George's Street have a look at some of the alcoves some of the roads off St George's Street and see what happens let's go This old car is permanently parked here. Casa Monica Resort and Spa, so it must be something to do with maybe weddings, I don't know. But yeah, it's a classic old car. There is a statue to Henry Flagler. Born, died January 2nd, 1830 to May 20th, 1913. And of course, the famous Flagler College. It's pesky British again. Apparently in this old ancient square, people were hanged. Um, so, yeah. Yeah, here we go. The first public market was established as a by Governor Mendes de Canzo in 1598. So, uh, yeah. This structure was built, rebuilt by the city in 1888 following a disastrous fire in this area on April the 11th, Okay, let's have a look inside the basilica again. Might be a little bit of meditation while, while I'm here. As I've said before, I don't understand religion. I'm not religious at all. I'm spiritual, but I'm not religious. But these places are quite incredible. And you can still come in and do a bit of a meditation just chill out find your find your uh, find your moment
little bit of meditation in there that was really nice I just said oh, no I'm not religious um, but they still let me in thank you whichever god it is um, yes yeah, so I walk down St George's Street Nice and cool in here too. Nice just walk through the uh, shops and have a look. <laughs> they have all these ghost tours of St Augustine, which I have absolutely zero interest in, even though I'm a paranormal researcher, because I know it's all folklore. Okay, back out onto the street. to St George's Road. Have I been in here before? Let's have a look. Oh yes I have. You have been in here before there's a restaurant at the end which serves wine. Under the restaurant. I decided to have another drink, sorry, I'm on holiday. Okay. Mm. Oh, that's nice. Nice glass of red. Now heading back down St George's Street towards the old gates. Chilling out, having a good time. Seventeen ninety eight. All right, just had lunch. The web, there's the yeah, the webcam where I look about on uh, St George's Street. The webcam. No blue skies today, it's very overcast, but um, at least it's a little bit cooler, which is really cool. Really cool. <laughs> cool. Uh -huh. It's quite a bit of a wind in uh, St Augustine, but not today. Had lunch up there once, 
the oldest wooden schoolhouse in the USA was there last year and a couple of years before that so I'm not going to go in there um, I've linked the video below it's very interesting by the way so uh, yeah check out that video yeah the original gate opened in 1739 providing the only access through the defense line of the north side of the Spanish Saint Augustine There's a wall of the fort, but I say we've done videos from there before, only last year, so we're not going back there. Huguenot Cemetery. Incredible graveyard of all the Huguenots over here who died of the yellow fever. Um, hundreds and hundreds were buried here although you wouldn't believe it Is Davy Jones still doing his rounds singing Beatles songs but um yeah, it's all cool. There you go, yeah, during the yellow fever epidemic of 1821, this half acre plot was set aside as a public cemetery. Well, there you go, guys, another tour of St. Augustine. I think my fifth time here. I love it because of the history. I know I'm from England. I know we have plenty of history. I've got history on my bloody doorstep, but there's something special about this place. In Florida, especially, uh, this place in Key West, there's something really magical. So I hope you enjoyed the video. We'll do one more video from St. Augustine, which will be the next time. And please like, subscribe, all that stuff we do on that there YouTube. Hope you're enjoying the videos, by the way. And we'll see you next time. Take care.